Hi, I'm Mark. This is my December review for Leo Sunshine and Leo Rising. This month, Leo, there's a strong emphasis on other people, as most of the planets lie on the opposite side of the chart to the first house. Uh, we start from the first of uh, Neptune going direct. Now, this is at 20 degrees Pisces, so if you have any planets around that area or the other mutable signs, which is Virgo, Gemini and Sagittarius, then you could feel this very intensely. Now, Neptune's been retrograde for some time. Um, we spoke in the summer about how you can learn the lesson of, of responsibility for others' money and property. And if you've done this, then that's fantastic. Now, going forward, Neptune in that eighth house means that you need to um, get a better understanding um, a more spiritual view of things um, in that area, and that is the shared resources uh, and other people's money and possessions and property. An exciting eclipse on the uh, fourth, because the eclipse is in Sagittarius, but it's in the fifth house. Um, so the sun is in the house that it rules, and it's the house of Leo. So there's an added benefit to this eclipse for you. This is a good time to uh, uh, express yourself in a way that um, perhaps you've been afraid to in the past. But you will have the confidence now to uh, to do this with Sagittarius um, and the Sun in that area of the fire sign. Now, um, this is great for creativity, it's great for working on creative projects, um, it's great for working with children, um, and it's by and by a fantastic time to enjoy the social side of life as well. Now, this eclipse is part of the Saras 5 South series, which is renowned for bringing good news and uh, happy events. So there's, there's a chance that there could be some fantastic social events coming up over the coming weeks. Um, the other thing we need to remember is in the uh, Sagittarius, it's about growth, it's about exploration, it's about taking a few risks, calculated risks, and sort of getting yourself out there. Mars is active on the 5th uh, for several days because he makes a positive aspect of Pluto. This is a good time to make changes around the home because Mars is in that 4th house and also to your daily routines as Pluto is in the 6th house. So you can make uh, great inroads into what work you have. If you've got work built up, you better get on top of it now. On the 6th there's an aspect of Jupiter and this is in the 7th house so it's a good time to work with others. And uh, with that creativity coming through in the uh, fifth house with the uh, new moon, it's a good time to work on creative projects. On the seventh, there may be a little dip in the uh, Mars energy um, because there's an interruption when the sun makes an opposition to the black moon Lilith, who's in your eleventh house. Now the sun will shine a light and expose things. It could be an event or a mini crisis with a friend that needs some help or or uh, your attention. Um, but also this is good because the sun illuminates any problems and it may illuminate the fact that you need to slightly change direction or do things differently um, than what you have been to achieve success. Then on the 9th, uh, Venus comes together with Pluto and this is intense desire. Um, it's incredible. It's good for uh, relationships and uh, uh, it's also good for you because it's in your um, sixth house. So now this may, you may have a desire, a strong intensity to change your health patterns or your diet or exercise and this will be good for you. Now Venus is coming together with Pluto uh, again. I'll tell you about that in a second. Why does Venus connect with uh, Pluto again? It's because she goes retrograde. She goes retrograde on the 18th and moves backwards, uh, comes back over Pluto, and then we'll, after six weeks of retrograde motion, we'll go forward again and make a final conjunction with Pluto uh, on March the 3rd next year. So there's time now to work with this uh, Venus retrograde. And it will highlight things within relationships that need, uh, need changing, need working on. Um, we also have a critical day on the 8th of January because this is when the Sun and uh, Venus come together during the retrograde motion and the Sun will shine its light on any problems that need your attention. Now there are lessons to be learned while we work with Venus in the retrograde motion um, and the lesson is to uh, be of service, be of service to others and also to share your knowledge and experience with others. You may want to take a break from your socialising on the uh, 11th because the sun makes an aspect to uh, Neptune. Although the sun is in that fifth house of creativity and social activities, 
Um, Neptune will quiet down. You may not have the physical driving energy that you would normally. It's only going to last for a day, but it's a good time to have a quiet day. Maybe uh, look into something that you enjoy, like psychology or astrology or tarot, and, and use the time um, to your own benefit. Now, there's a, there's a bit of positivity on that day as well, because um, Mercury makes a positive aspect to Jupiter. Jupiter's in that seventh house. It's a good time to plan ahead with your partner, plan some uh, new experiences or some or some, maybe some travel in the future, and uh, come up with some new ideas to enjoy each other's company. On the 14th, Mars, uh, who's now moved into Sagittarius, makes a conjunction with the Moon-South node. Now, this brings familiarity, um, and that also brings contempt, so we need to work towards the North node. Um, which is in the 11th house. This could bring up issues of uh, closeness and freedom. It could bring up issues of how you express yourself and your creativity. Now it's time to move away from what you already know and what you already find familiar. It's time to take some risks because it's in Sagittarius. Time to take some risks, like we said, with the Sun um, in the 5th house. The same with Mars in, in the 5th house because these two work very well together. So keep the um, momentum going. Work towards that north node in the 11th house. And maybe that you need to network more. Um, broaden your uh, area of friendships and, and uh, associations with groups. And, and maybe um, just make sure that you're um, doing things for the higher good. The north node is about our evolution, our spiritual way forward. So just make sure what you do is in keeping with that. On the 16th we have Saturn and Uranus coming together again. This is the biggest aspect of the year. It's been happening since January, on and off. Um, and we need to learn the lesson of this before it finishes um, in the early parts of next year. Um, now, unless you've got planets uh, around 10 to 14 degrees of uh, Taurus, then it's not going to affect you that personally. But it affects us all as a, as a whole. Um, Uranus represents that desire for change, that rebelliousness. Um, Saturn is the structure and organisation we have in our lives and this is under threat from Uranus. Um, but what we need is change, we need creative change, we need people to come forward with ideas using the inventive creative side of Uranus to bring forth um, new ideas that will help the uh, structure and the organisation um, to make those changes. On the 19th, we have our full moon. And funnily enough, the full moon is in the 11th house. We've just been talking about the Mars energy in the 5th in opposition to the uh, 11th house. And this full moon can help you to integrate that. This is about spreading your wings in, in a different fashion. This is about being a parent, a spouse, uh, a member of a group or a society. This is about broadening your outlook. It's about networking as well, because this full moon is in Gemini. So it's about taking on new information. It's about broadening your um, knowledge and outlook and uh, networking with lots of different people who you wouldn't normally probably uh, associate with. Now, we also have two other aspects. We have an aspect from the Sun to uh, Jupiter on that day. So this is a good day for working with others with Jupiter in that seventh house and, and putting plans together, long-term plans together with other people about projects and adventures you can have in the future. And also with the... Uh, uh, Chiron and, and uh, Mercury make an aspect, you could become involved in a group and end up being the spokesperson for that group. And also, it's a good time to um, use your knowledge and the information we said earlier about um, with uh, Venus being retrograde, to share your knowledge. This is a great time to share your knowledge and experience with others, and especially in a group situation. On the 20th, there's a bit of a spontaneous day. You may find yourself suddenly engaging with people, especially at work or in a destined path um, or in, in, in public. Um, and it could be that someone you meet on this day could give you some clues as to how you may be able to solve a problem that you've been stuck with recently. Then on the 24th, Mars makes a positive aspect to Chiron. This is a time when you need to, you need to sort of fight for your beliefs um, or, or stand up to uh, others and stand by your beliefs and it could be um, that this is a time you can overcome adversity when you can put things behind you like any past hurts or wounds that you 
may have been bothered by. It's a good time to put them behind you so you can achieve. On the 26th, um, it's a day when your uh, perception will be very, very much increased. Your intuition will be fantastic. You'll be able to tell things and, and know things that normally you would probably not pick up on. Um, the psychology of things and there's how people tick, you'll be able to uh, see this quite easily. Then on the 28th, there's a big boost of energy as Mars in that uh, uh, fifth house of creativity makes a positive aspect to Saturn. Now we've had Saturn aspects recently whereby it's, it's blocked and held back the Mars energy. This time the Saturn energy works with the Mars energy and you can achieve a great deal. And with Saturn in the seventh house you can work with, in partnerships or work with other people and you can achieve even more than you could on your own. An interesting day on the uh, 29th, um, there are three aspects of mixed um, energies around. First one is we have a coming together of uh, Mercury with Venus who's retrograde. So Mercury, you, you'll be able to see um, and experience things that maybe uh, you could miss in other times. Um, this will give you great insight into anything you need to work on within relationships or within your daily routines. Then we have uh, Jupiter making a square to the nodes. So this time, um, someone uh, may give you um, some information, it may be through uh, a message, um, you may or you may not agree with it. Either way, you'll have to take this information on board. Um, and don't be too uh, direct with your comments, um, just take them on board because there's something connected with what they say uh, that will give you a clue to, to going forward in the future, whether you agree with it or not. And then the other aspect is between the Sun and Chiron. And this is a time when you can overcome um, something from the past that maybe you've been um, hanging on to and you can let go of it um, personally so that you, it doesn't affect you going forward. This has been a month of new discoveries for you, Leo, um, but on the 31st, the last day, it could be the greatest discovery of all because um, the sun is in your sixth house of work, uh, makes a positive aspect with Uranus who's in the 10th uh, house of career and destiny. So there could be some discoveries that you make on this day um, that will really set the, uh, the, the pattern for future and, and, and your future path. Um, so there could be something sudden that comes in because um, things always happen very quick with Uranus. So there could be um, information that comes to you, um, but just hang on to that and, uh, and try and absorb it and then you can digest it later on. Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed the uh, review. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you'd like to leave me a comment, I'd be glad to hear from you.